So we are back with some part of the videos. Uh, we will start uh, here. We have to meet. Where are you off? Let's get this. March 80s. That's what worries me. It's not something you can walk just straight overnight. We've been fighting each other for s until recently. The Sangrasu is reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. <clears throat> this is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Splendid. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. Oh my god, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. <laughs> Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is! Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts! Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? 
a remote area outpost. Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt uh. the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Verge? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transfer. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Abandoned R.I. cell. Not going this way, I guess. That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. X to use no need to close your eyes. Electrical discharge temporarily disabling the electrocuting the enemy well. Let's <laughs> go. 
That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... Uh, of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing.
down there. Can't anything be simple here? It's a game, bro. That is how games are meant to be. can see that, you know. Now what? Okay, I can slide now. Are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. Another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. Uh, you gotta see this. What's up? Fight, fight. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself. Now. Wait, I just made myself useless. Nah, you're still good for comic relief. I am. Five thousand. I don't have electrical augmented personal volunteer revolver. Deals more damage. Okay. Do not enough points, man. I could not. I have reset it. Wait, let it. 
Ready to roll, sir? Let's get them. How many bucks do I have not to do? Can I get 5,000 bucks for that power of it? Thank 
क्या होता है हर वक्त बहुत समझ के बड़ी खेल सकते हैं गेम अच्छा उधर तो छोड़ के आया क्या मैं रुक जाए कि देखता हूँ मुझे शायद लग रहा है कि मुझे कहीं जाना था ठीक है मैं कहीं और चला गया ठीक ही आया हूँ एक सेकेंड चेक कर लेता हूँ हाँ इधर भी एक गड्ढा जाता है मतलब
get enough coins doing this. Let's see if I get something good. Only 133 bucks. Finders keepers. Thank you. 
the fuck was that? Thank <laughs> you. 
You all right there, Birch? I am. I think I found the entrance, Mr. Jesse. Well done, Birch. I just hit a glitch. <laughs> Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, so as long as easy. you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? Doing, yeah. This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, hey, kid. Madam, Let's find a place where you can a fix the gun. Because we need it ready for action. I don't know. We are back in Calico Town, okay? That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Bernier, sir, we have a situation. Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Virg. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Let's see what gauntlet power you got. This is kind of rage more than God of War. This is very, this is very, very similar to God of War in some perspectives. It felt kind of right to be out there. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh. Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> She's pissed. Okay. 
there with check yes it's time 